What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about an extension that lets you create lots of different kinds of stairs inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, I wanna thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Oyvind London, Aaron Smith, Cameron Kreeth, Mara Deacon, Matt Stout, Shahid Ansari, Eugene Dvorak, Francesco, Peter E. Ships, and Deidre Ostensen. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and they voted on Instant Stare as the extension that I'm going to cover. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Instant Stare. Plugin developer, Valley Architects. Plugin cost? It's $17 a year for Instant Stair or $118 a year for the entire Valley suite of extensions. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Valley Architects website or by following the link in the notes below this video. Tool functions. Instant Stair, like the rest of the extensions from Valley Architects, is a feature-packed extension designed to help you create stairs in SketchUp. There are a lot of things contained in this tool. I'm going to try to hit some of the more important ones, but if you'd like a follow-up on any of these features, let me know. Within Instant Stair, there are three ways to create different stairs. The first is to select the first option, which is Stair from Standard Shape, and create the stair based on the parameters that you create. You can click the drop down or the little icon to get a list of the kinds of stairs you want to create. As you can see, there are a lot of style options contained in this extension. Once you've selected a stair type, if you click the button for parameters, you can dictate the properties of just about anything in your stair. So for example, if you select the stack stair option, you can set the height from floor to floor, as well as being able to create your stair using either a, using a dictated number of risers or a maximum riser height. You can also adjust things like the size of the landings, the type of stair construction, and more. You can also adjust stairs to be created with or without nosings. To create railings, Instant Stair generates railing lines designed to work with Valley Architects railing extension, Instant Fence and Rail. This makes creation of your stair railings very easy and also gives you a lot of different options for the kinds of rails you can create. I'll leave a link below to my video on Instant Fence and Rail. So in addition to being able to create a stair by dictating the parameters, you can also create a stair using a target line. This can be very useful when you have an area and you just want your stair to fill that area, or if you want your stair to go between two points and you don't really want to figure out what all the risers need to be and everything else. Um, the line can either just be sloped, which can be really helpful if you know where your start and end points are, or it can also be flat and all you have to do is just dictate a direction along the line so that Instant Stair knows which way needs to be up and which way needs to be down. Finally, you can also draw a stair just by drawing a series of rectangles and then selecting your faces and then one edge for your risers. This can be useful if you want to draw a stair that fills a certain space and you know the riser sizes and you just want to let this extension figure out the heights. So this also contains a tool for applying materials to your stairs. This can be helpful if you'd like to apply different materials to your stringers that you put on your treads and risers, um, things like that. It is worth noting that Instant Stair also contains a material library that you can load into SketchUp by going up to Extensions, Valley Architects, Instant Stair, Load Valley Architects Wood Materials. You can then apply these materials to your stairs inside of your models. Overall, this extension has a ton of features for creating and customizing stairs in SketchUp. If you create lots of stairs in your models, I would seriously recommend that you consider it. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? How have you been creating your stairs in SketchUp? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.